78% of people taking these drugs have flu-like symptoms day in and day out. And it's become like chemotherapy with her. It's it is a form more, of chemotherapy. It's almost more it is detrimental to the disease. Yeah, and, and uh, I wrote in our, a Huff Post about that actually, about vitamin D. And, you know, I try to be scientific, and I said at the end, something along the lines of where you can pull it up, and said, you know, at the end of the day, one of the best treatments for multiple sclerosis might be the good old sun itself. That was the last line. And um, so, let's light the candle. Let's light the candle. Get that information out there, because it's profound. And we wonder why our healthcare situation is, is uh, you know, in a, the gutter and broke. And it is so because uh, we're focused not on health, we're focused on illness treatment, which is pharmaceutically based. My, my so, eye doctor, I have severe dry eye, and I have all these major dry eye and autoimmune issues, and she just gave me, she said, here, and handed me a bottle of the omega-3 DHA and said, take these, they'll help a lot. So uh, you'll be happy to know that. <laughs> <laughs> my kind of girl. Let's see, a woman, right? Yeah. <laughs> healing divine feminine, healing feminine energy. Uh, that's great. I mean, I always ask when people are uh, want to treat a problem, is ask yourself, well, what's the cause of the problem, first of all? So the cause of, of um, ADHD isn't Ritalin deficiency. <laughs> so, um, you know, so what is the cause of ADHD? Well, many kids with ADHD uh, actually have gluten sensitivity, or were not breastfed, and therefore their DHA levels are low. The risk of ADHD is doubled in kids who weren't breastfed. We talk about this omega-3, DHA. I'll restate that if you want. Yeah, but the double. risk of ADHD is doubled in children who were not breastfed compared to children who were breastfed. Why is that news in this situation right here? It shouldn't be. Yeah. So why is... is um, why uh, is there a uh, risk of ADHD in 60 to 70 percent of untreated celiac children, children sensitive to gluten? That resolves upon gluten-free diet, published by the journal Pediatrics, the most well-respected pediatric journal. That would be invisible to most treating physicians. ADHD is a deficiency of a drug, obviously, and that's what parents are told. That's what school. That's what teachers are told, who then tell parents. Uh, that's what they need to do for their children. But beyond that, um, so DHA turns out to be this critically important nutrient for brain development, and it acts through stimulating genes. When I ask doctors uh, in these lectures, where is, you know, what's the richest source of DHA? And they'll say, well, sardine oil, or anchovies, or krill oil, or cod liver oil. The richest source of DHA on the planet is human breast milk. Oddly enough, as fate would have it. And the concentration of DHA in breast milk can be doubled by simply having mother increase her DHA consumption through the form of a supplement. Now, there may be some concerns. Well, you can get DHA by eating fish, but should a, a woman who's uh, pregnant be eating a lot of fish? My vote is that they should not be. And there are vegetarian sources of DHA derived from algae that can be taken in the form of a supplement. That's what I advocate. Can I ask a question about that? What about for children? 